A ready-to-use personal 3D avatar can be created with 2D smartphone photos in a matter of minutes, and R&D efforts continue to improve the fidelity of these rapid avatars. The USC Institute for Creative Technologies has a well-recognized history of pioneering research into the creation of high-fidelity digital doubles and interactive embodied conversational agents, or virtual humans. Can I just retest in a few days? This foundation of knowledge will help inform Army stakeholders as it develops a vision for personalized 3D avatars. Personalized avatars can increase realism, engagement, and immersion. Soldier avatars could replicate attributes, including qualifications, scores, appearance, and mental and emotional qualities, all drawn from a soldier's actual record. For example, with an ACFT score of 560, Specialist Ortega's avatar will run faster and be able to carry a heavier load than Staff Sergeant Weber's avatar, whose real-world counterpart has an ACFT score of 510. In addition to populating an individual's avatar profile, Future systems could aggregate the data into a squad profile that highlights the team's strengths and weaknesses. This aligns with the Soldier Center's Master E program, which is developing a human dashboard that can incorporate on-body sensor data and other analytics to estimate states. Data analytics and an effective human performance model will be a key component of a personalized avatar capability, and ICT's Body Computing and Human Performance Lab can support these efforts. Future R&D is required to help the Army define key attributes and how these are affected by a soldier's real-world training and performance. Personalized 3D avatars could be used in a number of ways. When leaders are unavailable, an AI-enhanced commander avatar can stand in during a training exercise. Mounted and dismounted avatars could replace absent personnel to help a unit achieve the full complement when executing collective training. An individual's avatar could help a soldier achieve optimal readiness by demonstrating correct techniques for a variety of skills. There are many potential use cases, and future studies can assess the value of each to guide Army requirements. There are challenges on the path to personalized avatars. How and when should the Army use them? What are the costs of creating and sustaining them? Which key attributes should be simulated? How can authoritative data and learning models best be leveraged? What level of fidelity is required and desired for each intended outcome? What source data is needed and how will developers get it? There are also significant assets. The Army has a 20-year investment in the research and development of virtual humans it can take advantage of. And now is the time to leverage efforts from the cutting-edge fields of data analytics, body computing, graphics, and AI. To help the Army determine its vision for personalized 3D avatars, future R&D should focus on data and learning modelization, rapid avatar creation methods, evaluation studies, and the use of AI to control avatar behaviors. Personalized 3D avatars for the soldier. Let's find a way forward.